let's walk. All right. All right, here we are on the streets of Montreal with uh, John Karabi. Yes. Uh, I know you've been here many, many times before. Yes, uh, I was actually telling my friend Chris, the first time that I was here was with The Scream. Oh. And there was quite a bit of trouble to be had. Uh, apparently there was two girls in the club drinking, standing right in front of us. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the bus after the show and the girls came on the bus and we just assumed that the drinking age is 21, whatever. <laughs> we brought them on the bus and then our bus was completely surrounded by police because they were only 17. Here in Montreal, the drinking age is under 18. You just bring a library card. It's a joke. That's, that's Let's press the button to walk. There we go. Yes, the drinking age has always so been 18. So is this a, like a market area, touristy? That so is, what, this, where this, are we? this is St. Catherine Street. It is the heart of downtown. Okay. East is that way, west is that way, but this is the heart. This is the central. When people come to Montreal to visit, this is the street they walk down. Awesome. I know you're usually in a tour bus. Orlando's going to walk backwards now. He's, he's, he's quite good at it. He, he's quite good. <laughs> it's because we've done this more than one time. Yes. So here we go. This is an old church here, right? Yes. Right there. You want to take a little look at the church? And if, I, I really don't know which church it is, but apparently it's an old one. Uh, well, it's got a cross on it, so apparently it's a church. Yep. All right. So I know Montreal is one of the first tour dates, and you're like ripping through the rest of North America. <laughs> yes. All right. That's well, cool. I'm, I, I've been on tour right now with uh, Tom Kiefer. Oh, great. And Winger in America until August 18th. August 19th is laundry day nice. at the Karabi household. Good. And then I start with the Dead Daisies August 20th. And I believe we're coming back up here to Theater Fairmount. Fairmount. Yeah. All right. So you're in the Dead Daisies. Yes. You're out of the Dead Daisies. You're back in the Dead Daisies. Okay. I can't. Like I, a mafia. Every time <laughs> I try to get out, they pull me back in. No, it's so, uh, what's up with that? As no, they say in Seinfeld. No, you you know, you know what? When I was in the band, when I first joined the band, we did this record, Revolution, and something magical happened, and it just blew up. And we were we were doing festivals, and we were opening for Kiss everywhere. Let's and go this way. Let's go this way. Grab a Orla seat Orlando. For a let's. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna grab a seat, but I want Orlando to go in front of me on that side because the sun is coming this way all right um yeah but we we it just blew up and we it was like uh, as much as i enjoyed it i enjoyed this you know the success and the traveling it really just was crazy like we were you know do a record come off tour rest for a couple weeks and then go right in and do a record and then go right back on tour again and in three years we did four albums yeah, it was a lot it was a lot you know and uh so for no other reason and then but to, to be honest with you i have my son in my other ear who's my drummer in my solo band and he's like dad you suck like i can't believe like you know i i came here to be in your band and now you're in the daisies so i just took some time off and they got glenn Hughes. they did very well with glenn they did a couple great records and Glenn said, okay, I'm going to go do my Deep Purple thing. Uh, thanks. And so David Lowy I, called I me. saw that coming, by the way. I saw that coming with Glenn Hughes. I, I, he, he doesn't, he does I love Glenn Hughes. I love his voice, but I saw it coming. You know, he just can't sit still for one album, one tour, more than one album, one tour. It, you know, I, that's just my perspective on it, right? Uh, you know, I love Glenn. He's, yeah. he's, he's a uh, insane, insane singer, insane. songwriter. Um, you know, but they called and they said, oh, hey, man, you rested? I go, yep. And so David said, do you want to come back? And I was like, yeah, sure. So they, we got this best of record coming out. Yeah. Well, it's it's out now for pre-order, but I believe it comes out like August uh, 18th, I think. Um, and it's a great album. There's a little bit of everything from all the different singers and players they've had. And, uh, and then we're going to go on tour and just have some fun. All right, here's a bit of history. See there, the bay. Yes, sir. 
that was a fur trade. It was a company, like was a, a fur, fur trader. trader company. One of the first called the Hudson Bay Company. Yes, and that's how you know Montreal was built off of the All fur, fur trade, trading. Yeah, which a lot of uh, northern cities in North America were at the time. So there's that's a historic building right there. I'm not sure if, and on top of there it says Company de la Bay Hudson. That's so, the company, the Bay Hudson Bay Company in English. Yeah, yeah. Right. So there's that's a little awesome. bit of history for you. you want to show? No, I know. I, I've uh, I've seen a. a I, I knew I, back in the day. I mean, fuck, even what was it like? What's that book? Jack London Call of the Wild. You know what I mean? That's all like up here in Alaska. And, like, <laughs> just all this whatever the fur trading and. Well, so. well, here's another interesting place. See the place called Burger King? Yes. That comes from the land of America. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> from where you're from. Yeah, I don't eat Burger there. Burger King. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Orlando, come here. Now, what is a quarter pounder with cheese? Okay, no, 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 no. It's in Cal the... Cal de Livre. It's not the what you think in France. What's you the know. Burger Royale? No, that's France. France. But you know, they even changed that in France. Because I was in France, and it, it was just called Quarter Pounder. Actually, I didn't even see a quarter pounder there. So, here's your book. Let's plug your book. Yeah, it's a coloring book for those of you who don't know how to read. Like I, me. <laughs> I have a confession. I never learned to read. So, I just fake it. It's in Braille. Okay. Horseshoes and hand grenades. How did that title, how'd you come up with that title? It was my father. Uh, my father, unfortunately, passed away in 2014. And he had the driest sense of humor. Um, but with wisdom. Yes. And I, I, like, I remember saying to him one time, I forget what band I was in, whether Rat or Dead Daisies, whatever. But I said something like, oh man, my ship's finally come in. And as quick, it just dry, he goes, well, your ship's coming in, don't be at the airport. <laughs> and I was laughing about it. Well, when I did my acoustic record, yes. I did, half the record was old songs that I reworked acoustically. The other half was new, and I was joking with him. He goes, what are you gonna call your record? You know, and I said, um, I don't know, maybe John Karabi's almost greatest hits. <laughs> and he said, or you could just call it Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. It's brilliant. So I said, what does that mean? And he said, ah, oh, there's an old phrase, you know, when we're, you're in the military or whatever. He goes, uh, close only counts in Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. So it means you were close, but you weren't quite there. Mm. You know what I mean? So no, I was like, okay, let, great title. Let, let's walk towards a statue. Okay, makes a good background. All right, so what am I getting in this book? Everything. I mean, okay, Molly Crew. Everything. You're getting wives, girlfriends, my youth, my all the trouble I got into as a teenager. Like, you're getting a little bit of everything. Let's stand so, in front of the statue. King Edward. This? this is King Edward. I could read the uh, what it says. In memory of... I don't know. It says 1814 or something. Or 1914. 1914. See how bad my vision is? Mine's just as bad. These are prescription. People come here. Let's go sit on the statue, the area here. So, the book. Yes. In terms of... Okay, I mean, I know everybody's asking you this question, but I'm going to ask you it anyways. Okay. Dirt. Yeah. You, want, you want to sit here? Yeah. You can sit here for a bit. For a second. I know you need a little bit of break. Yeah. Dirt. There's, the, the there's movie, a little bit. The movie. Oh, the movie. The movie. The movie. Oh, the movie. Oh. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the book after. What do you think they could have done better in that movie to portray you? I mean, they had to portray you because they had to show Vince left, the band picked up the pieces, and then Vince was back. How do you think it should have been, you should have been portrayed? I, I kind of, I, I do have to, you know, respectfully disagree. Okay. I, I think they could have just showed the band split up and then show them talking to get back together again. I, I The only thing that bugs me about that movie is that they took the unfortunate liberty to make it look like I was playing in high school gymnasiums <laughs> to like eight people. I felt bad for you actually. It, when I, I saw I, that, I, I go, that's not right. right. I, I'm fine. It is what it is. Dude, shit doesn't bother me at all anymore. I'm like, whatever. But um, I, I, uh, I thought that was a little bit overblown. The, the, 
you know, the, their perception yeah. or their view of that time. I mean, it's it's kind of funny if you go on <clears throat> if you go on uh, YouTube and type in, you know, John Karabi Motley Crue Live '94. It's like, yeah, the, none of the shows were sold out, but we still played the three, four, five, six thousand people, seven thousand people, depending on the size of the arena. Um, so I, I just thought that was a little shitty. And and then the other thing is. If they were going to put me in the movie, which they did, I'm just angry that they didn't get Morgan Freeman to play me. Yeah. So Or Johnny Depp. Or, or maybe that's not Mor a good thing. Morgan now. Freeman. Morgan Freeman? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with Morgan Much Freeman. Much wiser, you know. He's always wise cooler. in every he's movie. Always, he's just cool in every movie. All right, so you have you have worked with Mick Mars. How long were you in Motley Crue for? Five years. That's a long time to put you in a, a minute of the movie, right? You worked with Mick Mars. The whole controversy with Mick and, and Molly Crew. Sorry about that, Orlando. When you were in the band, did you did you perceive him as uh, a hired gun, or was he more? Or did you perceive him as somebody who was part of the organization? Mick. Yeah. Listen, like, when I time. was when I was in the band, the band was intact. So. Even even me, I was not a hired guy. I was a member of the band. I old paperwork I could show everybody to prove. But uh, so you were a twenty five percent. Yeah, I was I was a member of the band. Like I, it said, member of the band. You know. So in the corporation, you were you owned the shares of whatever percent. No, 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 no. I was a member of the band, but it was a it was an escalating thing. Like the first year, I got. Uh, a member, I had imp I had input. Oh boy, uh, something's happening here. Yeah, okay, no, no, so no. so when I was in the band, it was like I, I was a you know a member, and it was a escalating percentage. Like so, the first year I was like, even though I had twenty five percent of input and in writing and all that stuff, the other things like merch, other other companies they had, I was like ten percent. Then the following record, it was 15%. And then it would eventually work up to 25. But as far as the writing, publishing, you know, when we were on tour, I was a member, you know, and Mick was, uh, you know. He's Mick. not who you, th like, now they're trying to make him perceive like he was some sort of hired gun on the side. No. I mean, that's the perception I'm getting. I'm not saying that's what it is. I, I haven't, t I gotta be honest with you, this, I, I'm kind of clueless. All right. Like, All right. no, 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 no. I, 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 I made it a point to, you know, I, I said what I had to say in the very beginning when that first press release came out that Mick wasn't gonna tour due to his health, and yada, yada, yada. And uh, I made a couple statements. Somebody asked me a question, I made the statements. And now I'm just sitting there saying, like, I'm keeping my mouth shut, but none of the drama surprises me. Do you know what I mean? That's all I gotta say. Um, what's next for John Karabi? This gig tonight, tomorrow I'm in Ottawa, and then I go right back to America, and I've gotta continue on until August 18th with Tom Kiefer and Winger. Uh, music, music-wise. I, I, you know what? I'm always writing. I, I'm, I'm I, now that I'm back with the Daisies. Um, once we decide to do a new record, Orlando, that way. Yeah. Once we decide to do a new record, we're going to, um, you know, I'm going to send them a bunch of songs. There we go. Everyone's filming. And uh, I'm going to send them a bunch of songs, and the ones they like, we'll do, and the ones that they don't like, I'm going to finish recording and. You know, we'll go from there, but just keep writing, keep doing my thing, and live shows. You know, I, I've got my fingers in a, a few different things. I, I uh, there's a Paramount Plus um, docu series coming out that I've, I've, I've Kip Winger, myself, D. Snyder, Dave Sabo, um, Jan Janet from Vixen. We've all been, we're all involved in. And then uh, I also developed a TV show that I just nice. recently signed a production deal for. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just waiting for the Hollywood screenwriters to get off strike. Um, but once if you I, need some voiceover work, I'm in. I'm here. 
Hi, welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's. But we got to wait till the right. till the gotcha. str writers get off strike. So, yes, okay. um, so I'm I've got my fingers in a bunch of different shit. You know what All I mean? Right. So, on that note, everybody. Go check out the Dead Daisies. They're actually they're coming out on tour in a month. Yes, we'll John be again. Fairmount Theater is a theater Fairmount. Uh, August 26th. I I believe it's the 30th. 30th. Yeah. Yes, and um, you know, and uh, we're we're actually it's it's awesome this time because there's parts of Canada I've never been to. So we're going from East Coast to West yeah. Coast, and it's awesome. All right, so John Karabi, solo gig tour, Dead Daisies, a lot of cool stuff happening. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. And uh, we'll see you next time on The Metal Voice. Or I guess I should say merci. Merci beaucoup. See ya.